From time to time, professional sports teams tweak or completely redesign their uniforms. The ostensible goal is to move the merchandise amongst fashion-conscious sports fans. I mean, perish the thought that a Toronto Maple Leafs fan shows up to a game with a jersey displaying the stylized angular leaf logo of yester season, as opposed to this year's Back to the Future leafy leaf logo. And then there's Real Madrid. Now, Real Madrid is an elite Spanish soccer club that's decided to alter its logo, too. Well, not the logo on the jerseys the team will be wearing and selling in Europe, mind you. Rather, Real Madrid's new crest is meant for Middle East soccer fans. You see, if you look really, really hard at Real Madrid's logo, you'll spot a tiny crucifix. That's problematic, as Real Madrid doesn't want to upset the cultural sensitivities of soccer fans living in non-Christian majority countries. Now, granted, Real Madrid is a private entity. It can do whatever it darn well pleases with its soccer kit, and it appears that this self-imposed cultural censorship is indeed a business decision. Apparently, even a teensy-weensy bit of Christianity on a soccer logo in the Middle East might prove toxic for the bottom line. In this regard, I guess the only surprising thing about the logo redo is that Real Madrid didn't go full Sharia and substitute the cross for a crescent moon. You know, kind of like the logo for the Toronto District School Board. In order to be presumably more inclusive to Muslims, the TDSB's logo actually features a crescent moon in green, the color of Islam. Then again, maybe this logo makes sense in the Truth and Advertising Department, given that some Toronto public schools now host gender apartheid mosques on Fridays, uh, but I digress. Speaking of crescent moons, I wonder what sort of outrage would erupt if a professional Arab soccer team decided to remove an Islamic symbol on its jerseys for sale in non-Islamic markets. I think I can already, already hear the cries of Islamophobia, or is that a pipe bomb exploding? But the perversely ironic part about Real Madrid's contempt for its own Christian roots is that this logo redo is being done in the name of cultural sensitivity. After all, most of the Middle East is an unforgiving crucible when it comes to religious and cultural minorities being persecuted, tortured, enslaved, and even murdered. Not a whole lot of sensitivity happening in that neighborhood. Oh well, Political correctness aside, how does one say business is business in Spanish? For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Like what you just saw? Then click subscribe below and never miss another Rebel video.